Hi, Carl here for Pro V TV, and today we're taking a look at the five main reasons that customers of ours end up choosing Canon's trusty workhorse and actually the camera that we end up using most often for this channel, the Canon C300 Mark II. So inside the C300 Mark II is a beautiful Super 35mm sensor. I mean, the dynamic range is fantastic and the color performance is exceptional. The skin tones look really lovely. I mean, people have come to expect that from Canon cameras nowadays, but it is a large part of the reason that people end up choosing this camera, myself included. The skin tones are just fantastic. And I think something that a lot of people forget or perhaps even don't know about in the first place is that you can actually get a raw signal out of the SDI port on the back of the camera. So you pair that with a compatible external recorder, something like the Odyssey Design 7Q or the Atmos Shogun Inferno or the Shogun Sumo, something like that, you're going to be able to record either in normal ProRes files or in ProRes RAW on the Atmos units or in Cinema DNG, so you can get that raw performance for when you need the best possible image quality. So one thing all our customers definitely agree on is that the build quality on the C300 Mark II is just fantastic. Everything about this camera screams that it's a professional workhorse. That You can tell that Canon really have paid attention to the build quality when they were designing the Mark II of the C300 because it's a huge improvement over the original C300. The top handle is very, very secure and doesn't come loose at all because it's much more secure connection down here. The EVF is better, the cables are detachable so that if you break a cable, you don't have to replace the entire monitor unit. Pretty much everything here is much sturdier than it was on the original. And for that reason, this is a very popular camera indeed with customers like rental houses or um, documentary shooters. Anyone who's traditionally their kit takes a little bit more of a beating than the average user really gravitate towards this camera because it is just so well built. Plus it's got all the ports and things that you need. You've got two SDIs, you've got HDMI, you've got Genlock and Timecode, LANK, you've got two CFast card slots, a huge capacity batteries for long battery life. You've got loads of assignable buttons. The buttons even light up with this button here. So does the screen on the back. The EVF is far better. There's a lot to love about this camera. Everything about it just screams that it's a professional workhorse. So the codecs that the C300 Mark II can record are a huge part of why people choose it and definitely define the target audience for this camera. I mean, if you are doing any high-end TV work or um, maybe even low-budget feature films or definitely documentaries, the codecs in here are gonna really appeal to you. The reason that is is because they are far higher in terms of data rates than any of the TV broadcast spec, but they're not so big that workflow becomes a real pain and a bit more bloated. They are very small, easy to edit files, but far more than the minimum requirements that you need for TV. In 4K, it can do 410 megabits a second in 10-bit files, and that's XFAVC, which is Canon's own format. Drop that down to 1080p though, and you get 12-bit 444, 225 megabits a second, which is just fantastic, particularly if you're interested in doing any green screen work or maybe even visual effects, that 12-bit 444 is gonna be a huge deal for you. That's definitely a bit of a hidden gem on this camera. You are limited to 30p. You can go up to um, slow motion by cropping into the sensor and you get up to 120 frames a second, but it would be nice to have 4K 60p using the full sensor, but you can't do that here. That's pretty much its main limitation when it comes to codecs, but having those codecs is just fantastic. It does all of this recording onto the two CFOS cards at the back of the camera. And you've also got a little SD card hidden away at the front. This is for low bitrate 1080p proxy recording. So if you're interested in doing high-end TVs, definitely documentaries, or even low-budget feature films, the codecs in here are gonna really appeal.
I do feel a little bit like I say the same thing every time we do something to do with a Canon camera on this channel, but the autofocus is just simply fantastic. It makes such a difference to your work, particularly if you do things like this sort of filming we're doing right now, or an interview, anything like that, where you've just got a person in frame and you just wanna keep their face in focus. Doesn't matter if I move towards the camera or away from the camera, it's gonna track with me and keep me in focus. The camera operator, Dan, doesn't have to do anything. And that is just worth its weight in gold. It makes such a big difference. The C300 Mark II was the first camera that really brought this to the table and made this professional. Um, it's brilliant to control. You get all that face detect. You can just control it with the wheels or the joystick. It came before the C200, which introduced that lovely touch screen, but you can still use that touch screen if you want. Buy that as an optional extra, and you can have that here at the side to control your autofocus with the touch screen. So there's no problems there. I think if you do the sort of work where focus and you're in a run and gun environment, anything like documentaries, particularly anything with interviews, the autofocus is gonna make a huge, huge difference to you. So it might sound a bit strange with a camera as advanced as this to be talking about the simplicity of the camera, but it actually makes a big difference. And once customers get it in their hands and try and compare different cameras against one another, that is one of the big things that draws them towards Canon's cameras overall. Despite them being very, very complicated and very advanced machines, they actually feel quite simple to use. And more importantly, the entire lineup is very cohesive. If you're used to anything from Canon's lineup, be it higher end or lower end, even down to DSLRs, things like that, you're gonna feel familiar here. Things like the menu interface, the way the buttons are laid out, all of that is very similar across their entire lineup, which is great because with cameras like this, when you're using them in quick, fast paced environments, or you just buy it for the first time and you need to get to know it very quickly, that does make a big difference. Another thing people really like is how reliable these cameras are. I've never had a software failure, and as we've already talked about, they are built like a tank. So if we have a customer that maybe wants to shoot in a harsher environment or is going into something very, very unpredictable which might make you nervous about your kit, you need a production tool, a workhorse camera that's really, really rugged and reliable. And this is normally our go-to recommendation for that sort of environment. It really is built like a tank. And on some jobs, that is so, so important. So that was our roundup of the five main reasons that customers who ended up choosing the Canon C300 Mark II made their decision. If you've got any questions at all, just leave them in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. And of course, if you want to buy one of these for yourself, the links to our website are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.